It's been more than two years since William Talbot was convicted of murder and sentenced to two consecutive life terms without parole. A decision from the state appeals court Monday announced that conviction has been reversed, citing possible bias from a member of the jury. And I don't have my only son. It was a 1987 cold case. 20-year-old Jay Cook and his girlfriend, Tanya Van Kuljenborg, were found murdered in Washington. The two had left Vancouver Island for an overnight trip in Seattle. Charged first degree uh, felony murder. Talbot was arrested in 2018 after a profile of his DNA from the crime scene was loaded into a genealogy website. For the families, this was closure. For my family and I, it is our first day without the weight, the burden, Undoubtedly, the, the victims' families are devastated uh, by the decision. Snohomish County Prosecutor Adam Cornell was surprised by this reversal. The court said it cannot conclude whether Talbot received a fair and impartial jury. The decision cites transcripts of juror number 40 being questioned during jury selection, saying, if there was some action taken towards a young woman, I might take that personally and not be able to be impartial. You think they, they were still okay to have been on that jury? What I, what I think is that that is an open question that the state Supreme Court, at least at first blush, has not yet determined. Cornell's office now has to decide whether to begin a new trial for Talbot or request a review from the state Supreme Court. He says the court's decision could set precedent for prosecutors across the state. The Supreme Court will have to decide, does a juror have to unequivocally say that I can be fair and impartial for a trial to be fair. So talking with the prosecutor, I gathered that he's leaning towards filing that review with the Supreme Court. However, he did say his office plans to discuss the case with the family, as well as the attorneys who tried that case back in 2019. Now, if the Supreme Court rules in the county's favor, that means the life without parole sentence is final. If it's denied or ruled in Talbot's favor, he will be given a new trial. The county's expected to file their decision later this week.